Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Leo, this is your May 2024 prediction. What I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an oracle card from the Guardian Angel Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck and then an angel number for you as well so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right leo let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to know in this month of may so we are getting for you, it's coming. Leo, it's coming. Let's read you the message of this card. So what you seek, seeks you as well. There's no need to push harder, Leo. It will only delay the process. So bring forth your trust and accept that you've done your part. So let me repeat that to you one more time. What you seek, seeks you as well. There's no need to push harder. It will only delay the process. So bring forth your trust and accept that you've done your part. So look at that, Leo. Whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you're manifesting, praying for, it's coming, everyone. So look at that. I love that for you. Oh my goodness. Let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. So the devil card, these are distractions. I feel they're intense distractions that we have in our day-to-day -day lives. This is also an energy of temptation, seduction. It lures you in, right? It feels good in the moment, but isn't good for us. So you wanna be watchful of this devil energy in your life. Now, this is a major arcana card. So the energy is going to be prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Others, you're going to feel this subtly. Okay, so the devil, we have the king of cups. Look at this. This is a beautiful energy. This is very centered. You have your head, your heart balanced, um, tuning out the noise, tuning that devil out of your life. This is going to be your superpower, Leo. It is, is this energy of the king of cups. Okay, um, cultivating that inner sanctuary, that centered place. So when you're feeling like things are overwhelming, um, you just kind of bring yourself to a place of peace and calm. So what I also want you to do today is to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. This is a card of intuition as well. It's a more masculine energy. So taking action based on what your intuition is telling you, the guidance that is coming in. This is where you're headed, Leo, this 10 of cups energy. This is a beautiful, emotionally balanced place. This is where that wholeness, that connection is. That's that feeling of all of your cups being full, um, connecting with people on deeper levels. This is your happy place, Leo. Do you know where it is? What does it look like? Can you imagine it with clarity? Because this is where you're headed. So some of you are seeing signs, omens, confirmations that universe is sending you right now that you're headed towards this place. So the 10 of cups for you today as well. So what a beautiful energy here for you. You just got to be mindful of the de devil energy in your life and away you are onto your happy place here, Leo. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Leo. So those of you that are watching, if my reading is isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. So I just love this 10 of cups for you. So what is this? Like, what is your happy place here? Leo, share with me in the comment section below. Um, you always put that energy out into the universe when you're writing things down, whether it's comments or on a sheet of paper here. So practice doing that. Practice bringing your dreams into your reality here, Leo. 
So the devil, I don't know if any of you have a Capricorn in your life. I'm picking up on the Capricorn energy through this card. So maybe you have a Capricorn in your birth chart somewhere. Leo, the Capricorn is definitely coming through right now. I feel um, whatever this energy is, sometimes it doesn't feel good, Leo. And it, it could be like overeating, eating unhealthy food, um, you know, alcohol, things that aren't good for us, that aren't good for our well-being. And it's time for you to really get this in check, Leo. This month of May is going to be very important for you to focus and not be distracted. So if you're already aware of that and know what these distractions are, you know how to keep them at bay and you have to try and manage this devil energy in your life. Now, sometimes some of us encounter people that have these energies like energy vampires, um, narcissists, gaslighters, manipulators, right? You name it, the devil, sometimes those negative energies, the darker energies do reside in a lot of people out there. It's not, I, I don't feel like it's super a lot, but I do feel there is in my own experience, I've encountered a lot of devil energies and, you know, devil energies are people that take, 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 but don't give but are also that are rude, that manipulate. You know who these are in your life, uh, Leo. So just being mindful and having some healthy boundaries around these kinds of people in your life. Environment that feels toxic and negative where you're feeling like your energy is being drained. It's time for you to take a break or get yourself out of that environment, Leo. This is so important because I'm seeing a lot of flames and things burning to a crisp. So perhaps some of you have actually seen a fire or experienced a fire in your life. This is coming up here and I don't know what the purpose of this is, why this showed up in your life. It could have been an accident or uh, maybe there was some clearing that needed to happen here. Um, so this is coming through. Spirit guides are wanting you to sage your home, sage your area here, Leo. Um, light an incense and just clear and clean the energy in the space that you spend your most time in and to detach from this sometimes what we have to do is disconnect from some of the things that are creating havoc in our, our lives like creating challenges or laggy energy so if you're spending a lot of screen time just like for pleasure I know sometimes we have to work and we have to work on the computer, we need our cell phones, but this is a different kind of energy where you're on it too much. So perhaps you need to do a detox this month of May here, uh, Leo, where you detox from the screen, your phone screen, your computer screen, your TV screen, and maybe spend some more time in nature to connect with Earth, with Gaia, right? And drinking more water, eating a little bit more healthy, kind of steering away from junk food, all of this, just focusing in on your wellness this month. You're going to see how you feel so much better. Things start to change. It's kind of like the, the clouds part and the sun starts to shine through. This is a really dark energy and sometimes we get, can get caught up in it. This is like that rabbit hole of things that are too much for us. So be mindful of the things that you are consuming too much of. Um, information that you're taking in that might be too much creating fear because fear resides in this. And this is what the devil energy feeds off of is fear. So fear is the worst thing. And I've been afraid. I have fears, right? But they're not real. I feel fears aren't real. They're just something that's there that we need to overcome. So this year, Leo, for you is to turn your fears into your biggest strengths, everyone. So focusing on, on that this month of May for you. Okay. So, and that's through this balanced energy. This is through practicing meditation, um, doing yoga, perhaps uh, implementing practices in your life, which keep you uh, stable, grounded and balanced, right? So again, this is you kind of doing this head and heart balance, right? So you're thinking, but you're also using your heart and your intuition. There, there's a connection happening here. I'm seeing a lot of water. So some of you may be near water, but also fire. So you could be on a campsite here I'm getting, or perhaps you live near a lake and you have a lot of fires in the summer, right? Um, maybe you're near a campfire. I'm getting like fire and water energy. And what I'm getting with this 
combination is, I don't know if any of you have seen the movie RRR. It is a Bollywood movie. It's absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it. But they have that water and fire element through the two characters in the movie. And oh my gosh, what a beautiful movie. So I'm getting this beautiful energy of love coming through this. So love for another human being in your life. This could be a child, this could be a spouse, this could be a family member, maybe a friend, a coworker. There's a lot of respect here, but a lot of love. It's a really deep connection that is coming in for some of you. And I don't know if there's a storm around. I'm getting, I'm picking up on a storm near somebody, like dark clouds rolling in. Maybe it's cloudy, rainy, uh, lightning or thunder. I'm getting some sort of uh, weather disturbances around some of you. Like all of a sudden, I just felt this storm coming in. And I feel this is that devil energy. So just being aware of the storms of life, everyone. And the things that a storm usually is a challenge. It, it's a lower, vi it's not a lower vibrational energy, actually. It's more of an opportunity for us to grow. It's an opportunity to conquer a fear through that challenge, right? So I feel some of you may be facing a storm right now where you need to balance things out, calm your energy so you can see and think things clearly. Spirit is connected to you always. You are always safe and protected as well, Leo. So know that. Okay, um, I feel your health is going to be a main focus here, especially those of you that are feeling any kind of physical ailments to stress, stress related like anxiety, stress, but physical ailments like, you know, chronic pains, headaches, migraines, aura, um, just joints, like things like that coming through. Um, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not giving any kind of medical advice here, everyone. If you are feeling any kind of physical ailments or you're ill, go please see a doctor, okay? So uh, I'm seeing some of you looking at alternative health, different options, second opinions around your health, or kind of um, changing your diet, your lifestyle to be a little bit more healthy. And I feel there's a need for that regardless of your health. Even if you're healthy, you're, 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 there's something to do with your health that is linking to this card here today, Leo. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Something recent or maybe this is someone around you that perhaps you're taking care of as well. So I feel there needs to be a diet change for somebody around you. Maybe they've been experiencing stomach aches or something it has to do with the, what they're eating is what spirit guides are showing me. Something to do with the, what they're consuming here. So maybe get that checked out by a professional, um, Leo. I'm getting cancer wanting to come in here, the sign of cancer. And also um, Virgo. So I feel like we've got cusp energies um, trying to come through here. So some of you might be on the cusp um, of either um, cancer, Leo or Leo Virgo. Okay, so... Um, or perhaps you have this in your birth chart, or perhaps there's somebody around you by these signs, okay? So these two signs are coming through. Sometimes spirit guides want us to um, embrace that energy within ourselves of some of the signs that we are seeing in a reading, okay? So the number 15 is coming through here, but also the number 10. Now, some of you may be born on the 15th or the 10th of the month, but I feel um, number 15, one plus five is six. So that's that nurturing and caring energy, energy of self-care. Um, in numerology and then we have the number 10 which is a one so you have to take action you have to take charge you are the leader of your life you are the one that has to get into motion on taking charge and implementing things in your life in order to create balance tranquility and peace okay some of you might be feeling overly emotional here around something this could be some of us that are um, in that moon cycle a lot of us females out there right the moon cycle can sometimes affect our uh, emotions and for others, this is more so um, balancing your emotions. This is that balance of the feminine and the masculine, okay? So spirit guides are wanting you to balance that in your life as well. Now, this is where it's leading you. This is what is the outcome that is coming through here for you. So what is this experience for you? What is this outcome for you, Leo? If you look at this card, what do you visualize in your mind? What is it that you see? What can you imagine? Can you hear it? Can you hear it, people? 
you're surrounded by love, really good times here. What does that sound like? Can you hear people laughing and conversing? There's a lot of cups here, perhaps there's some tea, maybe there's some drinks here. What does that, can you hear the clinking and the clanking of the cups with the voices? What does the air smell like? Is there a barbecue? Like what is that experience for you to really experience it in your imagination? right? You're seeing the kids running around. You're with family. Who are you talking to? Who are you? That's the important part. Who are you here in this place? This is what spirit guides are wanting you to, this is the energy they want you to embrace of yourself. So this is a connection to your higher self, to a timeline where this exists. And this is the connection that you are making right now by doing this visualization, visual, visualization, I can't even talk. It's because spirit is trying to communicate and give me these intuitive downloads where sometimes I slur my words because I'm wanting to say two, three sentences at the same time. So my apologies here, everyone. Your imagination, seeing this vision with clarity and your imagination is so powerful, Leo. There's so much that you can create. I'm seeing a lot of beauty, vivid colors here. Like I'm just seeing a, a beautiful, serene place. I don't know if you're actually experiencing this in your life. This could be a home. This beautiful home where there's sunlight coming through the windows. This is like early in the morning. That golden yellow light that comes through the windows um, as the sun rises, right? And that smell of coffee and it's just clean. There's like a breeze coming in through the windows. You can just, oh, I can just visualize that. Um, so these are the kind of things that I'm seeing in my mind here for some of you, like this, these visual, um, beautiful, serene visuals. Um, visualization for you is very powerful, Leo. So make sure you are visualizing, daydreaming and imagining what this is for you because you're creating this energy in your life and you're in alignment to this. So this is you elevating. This is you rising up. There's a higher frequency and a higher vibration at play here for you. So, so for some of you, this is new, right? This is an, a new energy and I'm getting a little bit of fear around this. Perhaps you're feeling like you're not worthy of it or it's just maybe you're feeling like you're not deserving of it, Leo, but you are. You're deserving and worthy of everything, happiness. So I want you to get that wedge out of your mind, out of your thoughts, because those of you that are imagining sabotaging this place. So sometimes what happens is when we visualize, we can throw a wedge in it because we don't believe that this is an actual experience that we can experience in our lives. So those of you that have a wedge that automatically comes in when you're trying to imagine like, like as if, you know, you're saying as if that's going to happen. I'm so stupid for even thinking that. These are the kind of things that you want to release out of your life. These are the words and the thoughts that you want to release out of your life. Whatever wedge that is that comes in and destroys those dreams before they even happen. Okay, so again, visualizing with clarity and believing and having faith that this is coming for you because I'm telling you it's coming for you. Okay, Leo. So this is your confirmation today. Um, I'm seeing some of you wearing more vibrant colors. I don't know if this is a new thing for you, but I'm seeing a lot of vibrant colors. Perhaps you're kind of being daring here, Leo, and you bought a shirt that's a little bit more brighter than you normally wear. I'm seeing some of you surrounding yourselves with, um, well, with people, but um, I'm seeing a shift in the kind of people you're surrounding yourself with. So I feel that you're in alignment with your soul tribe here with this energy, Leo. So I'm seeing an incoming energy of new connections, new relationships. I'm also seeing growth in your family. So this can show up like as a child, you're growing and expanding, but also like being married into a family or perhaps like an elderly parent coming in. So living through that energy of love, this is very heart centered. This is where you are showing up in that love energy. You are choosing love. And even though sometimes our external experience doesn't feel like it's from a place of love, as long as you remain in your energy of love, I feel that you're going to experience a lot of love. It might not feel like it in the moment, but again, sometimes that has to do with the lens that you are wearing. What kind of lens are you wearing? Are you wearing a lens of negativity, of scarcity, or you are, are you wearing a lens of growth and abundance, right? So mindset here is very important that you understand what kind of a mindset you have. Being open, open-minded. Spirit guides are wanting you to be open-minded around perhaps some of your beliefs and your values. So for, perhaps you disagree with somebody but you're seeing that their life is a little bit more balanced, a little bit more happier. And 
maybe I'm seeing someone conversing with you here and maybe they're discussing something that is happening in your life. Maybe you asked somebody, Leo, about advice on what you can do to change because perhaps you're struggling somewhere. Um, I'm, I'm seeing someone as an earth angel here giving you advice like you're intuitively connecting to some sort of words um, this other person is speaking which is opening you up to this new way of perceiving things or viewing things your perception the lens like the way that you're seeing and feeling and experiencing um, is shifting here and is becoming more vibrant more positive happy and loving here so Open yourselves up to this loving energy in your life, Leo, because you deserve it. You are worthy of it and it's wanting to come into your life. Some of you are already here, so you can share with us what your experience was to bring this into your life, Leo. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. It comes with an Oracle message and a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you today. So anything that more Spirit wants to share with you is going to come through this card. And those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation today. So we are going to see what we get here for you. So squirrel spirit, believe in yourself, Leo. I don't know if any of you are seeing squirrels around you. This is a confirmation. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now. So believe in yourself. We have the number 57 on this card. Perhaps you're 57 years old. Five plus seven is the number 12. And um, maybe you were born on the 12th here, Leo. Um, 57 days but also five to seven days five to seven weeks and five to seven months around the timing of this card i don't know if any of you are seeing chestnuts or pine nuts are these chestnuts i think these are chestnuts nuts in your life here i'm getting a squirrel tossing a nut at your window here leo so you're gonna have to share with me if this actually happened i'm seeing uh, a squirrel in my mind chucking a nut at your window what is that all about what is up with this uh, squirrel here leo so the oracle message for you today is you have accumulated wisdom and experience that are surrounded by all you need. An abundance of resources is available to you through the generosity of spirit and all your hard work. Squirrel spirit shows up when you need reminding that the acorns you have gathered, those are acorns, there you go, gathered and stowed away have enormous potential to grow. So relax into knowing there is always enough and you have what it takes to co-create the reality you want to experience. Through diligent preparation, you have gained wisdom and strength. How much potential you have, Leo. Believe in yourself for spirit believes in you and wants you to know you have, you have enough and are enough. Doesn't that truth make you feel safe and secure? It should, for you have everything you need right now. So the protection message for you today is the unpredictability of life can shake your confidence in yourself and your potential for handling the challenges that come your way. Does the thought of not having enough or being enough make you squirrely, Leo? Have you forgotten all your strengths, wisdom, and resources? Have you come so far on your wits and creativity, making use of all your potential and all that spirit presents you to help you through your life's trying times? It's time to look back on your life and rem remember how your needs have always been met for the highest good, even in your most challenging times, Leo. Life loves you and so many treasures are hidden in plain sight, ready to be revealed when you most need them. So relax. Squirrel spirit wants you to know you are poised and ready for whatever is coming next, Leo. So trust in yourself and trust as spirit has your back, okay? So squirrel spirit here, everyone. All right, let's pull a bonus card, or sorry, an angel number. I'm getting all mixed up here. It's that Mercury retrograde energy. So an angel number, those of you that are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting passion and purpose. It's time for you to tap into your passion and your purpose. They're both linked, everyone. So the number 3333, three, 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 so some of you might be seeing the number threes. The number three is a number of commun community. It's also a number of communication and self-expression and creativity, okay? So some of you may be seeing the colors of this card in your life as well. Now, the message here is, now, those of you looking for timing, three days, three weeks, and three months around the message of this card. 
You're using your gifts for good. You're meant to use your gifts for good here, Leo. Some of you are gifted with creativity, talents. You have abilities. You're meant to express yourself. This is awakening for some of you. You have support. You have help. If you feel you don't have help, ask Spirit Guides to bring that help, that support into your life. Okay? So... I just wanted to sneak in here really quickly and show you this beautiful magic intention candle that my sister-in-law made. I'm super obsessed with this right now. It is her spring collection for Mother's Day. Uh, the link for this is in the description box below, everyone. There is a limited supply, so grab these while you can. Look at how beautiful these are. I just love them. So uh, again, link is in the description box below. This is your angel message here today. If this reading resonates for you, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.